Hello? Is that the Royal Observatory? My name's Walter Ruddles. I need to speak to someone. Yes, Mr Ruddles. A comet? Yes. Bear me. I'll just jot down those coordinates. Right, I've got it. We'll look into that. I'm sure there's no need for concern. Yes, yeah, it will be named after you. Thank you. Comet riddles, eh? Uh, some crank, but comet he reckons he's spotted. Anyway, I suppose I'd better have a look. Yes, I did speak to someone. Looks like a big one, and right in the middle of the test match. Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? And we've just lost the last of the celebrities from the Big Brother house. Space. A Midlands pig farmer, an amateur stargazer, has discovered a comet heading towards Earth. Astronomers say that it will impact in four weeks, with such force that it will create an immense fireball, and most of life on the planet will be wiped out, a so-called extinction event. And finally, a character from Coronation Street... And it's called Comet Ruddles, is it? Professor Herschel, you're the expert. What will happen? Well, Prime Minister, there'll be a massive impact. A huge shockwave and a searing flash of heat around most of the Earth. Followed by earthquakes, widespread forest fires and a blanket of dust that blots out the sun for many years. We call it an extinction event like the one thought to have wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. How sure are we about all this? Very little doubt, Prime Minister. We've got about four weeks before it's due to hit us. Bugger! That's right in the middle of the test match. What can we do? Well, Prime Minister, we've informed the Americans and the Russians and the Chinese. They're all working on it. And what can we expect? Hard to say at this stage. It's a big one, though. There's the comet itself, about um, 20 miles across, with a long tail. There'll be many smaller rocks arriving long before then. But when exactly? Well, about now. Oh, bugger! And they'll be pretty hot too.
So it'll be pretty bad. As I said, when it hits, there'll be a thousand mile wide fireball. Complete destruction. It'll leave a total wasteland. So what are the space guys doing exactly? Well, we've got a huge team of experts working on it. And our Ministry of Defence is brainstorming the problem and you Japanese know, industry is brimming with ideas. But the only idea so far is to send out as many atomic bombs as we can and try and knock it off course. Unfortunately, the Americans have had all their funding cut by Congress, so right now they're out looking for advertising sponsorship. So, gentlemen, for just $10 million sponsorship, your new slogan could be, when the heat is on, only Comic Coke will do. Big Mac Chagrin. The Thousand Degree Burger. The Russians have converted most of their rockets into chicken sheds and they're busy trying to recommission them. <laughs> the Europeans can't agree on anything, but the countdown will be in French, or Paris button letters use their launch site. But apart from that, it's going as well as can be expected. Good God, man. We've only got five days left. When will those rockets be ready? Very soon, Prime Minister. In fact, just about now. Would you like to come and look? Ooh. Four, three, main engine start, two, one, and zero, and lift off. We've also asked for support from the smaller space programs. it all, I've got Greenpeace demanding that we use non-radioactive atomic bombs. Can't we blame the last government? The damn thing was the other side of Neptune when they were last in office. It's not that far, is it? About three billion miles. At least there isn't too much public panic at the moment. <laughs> and for a premium of just £200, if the world is entirely destroyed, you will get £10 million. Pounds. Ten Yes. For just 200? Indeed. OK. Meanwhile, a spokesman for number 10 has blamed it all on a previous government. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Annie. Uh, well, for some expert opinion, we can now go to Sir Patrick Moore at his home on the South Coast. Sir Patrick, this is all very alarming. How did it come about? Comet Ruddles started this journey in the outermost reaches of the solar system, way beyond Pluto in the Kuiper Belt. It was probably sent onto a collision course with Earth by a close encounter with a minor planet. And what will happen next? It's heading towards us at enormous speed, preceded by thousands of smaller rocks, ranging in size from a few inches to hundreds of feet. If it hits us, as seems likely, there will be a complete devastation. And what can you tell us about the steps being taken to avoid this disaster? The space scientists are doing all they can to change this orbit, but we've never before tried anything like this, and therefore we'll simply have to wait and see. Sir Patrick, thank you very much. And now, the latest from the Big Brother house. How's it going? Too soon to tell, Prime Minister. The rockets won't reach the main comet till tomorrow. But there is quite a big rock about to hit the Earth fairly soon. It should land in the sea, but it will cause an enormous tidal wave. When exactly? Well, about now. Oh, bugger. From Brighton, there are reports of a British man having his sandwiches spoiled. But apart from that, there's been no serious damage. Meanwhile, all the rockets and nuclear bombs that the world can muster are now nearing the comet. According to the experts, 
Their detonation should blow it off course, so that it misses the Earth by a small but safe margin. Of course, nothing like this has ever been attempted before, so we'll just have to hope that all goes well. Small. <laughs> Blast! It's not working! Oh, God. It didn't work. Sorry, Prime Minister, but it didn't work. It's still on course to hit us in about two days. And you've got no new ideas. I can speak to Bruce Willis, please? House and Ford? Well, we're all working hard on it, Prime Minister, but it is the holiday season, and Johnson's got his mother-in-law coming round for a few... Good God, man. If we don't do something soon, there won't be any more bloody holidays. Sylvester Stallone? Jimmy Savile? You're just a ready for Walter. I warned you about messing around with that telescope. So, but it will be another very warm, if not hot, day in many eastern parts. You're right this time, mate. Really nice. What do you know about it, mate? I'm the one Going, sunshine. You can't come in here. There's a crisis on. Got a comic coming. You gotta let me in. I've got an idea. Besides, it's my comic. Ah, oh, so it's all your fault then, is it? Hmm. I suppose you better come in then. I'm Walter Ruddles. The Walter Ruddles. Oh, so it's all your fault, is it? I've got an idea. He's got an idea. We've got hundreds of the best brains in the world working on this. He's just an ignorant pig farmer. We don't need some yokel giving us ideas. But none of your things have worked, have they? Anyway, it's my comet. And it's a good idea. What have we got to lose? Go on, then. Well, the way I see it is, if we can't move the comet, we'll have to... It's bloody crazy. Theoretically impossible. Absolutely no chance of working. What's more, it would use up all our reserves of fuel, and it would need far too many people. Besides, we couldn't possibly organise it in time. And your better idea is... Go on, Mr Riddles. What exactly would you... Well... Things are really hotting up now with only a couple of hours to go. The Prime Minister and all the top defence staff are inside making their final preparations. And meanwhile there are very many, very large, hot rocks starting to fall. Oh Everything ready? But it'll never work. It's a completely crazy idea, I tell you. We should all be out hiding underground or, or better still saying prayers or something. 
Straight away, yes. So we're definitely booked in. Great. We've signed up for them all now, Your Grace. T minus five minutes. Die Kollision des Kometen mit der Erde wird in etwa fünf Minuten erwartet. Wir bitten daher die Bevölkerung, sich in den nächstgelegenen Luftschutzkeller zu begeben. T minus three minutes. Number one ready? Number two ready? Il vous reste 3 minutes pour finir votre repas et chercher un abri. T minus 2 minutes. Some sobby comets gonna dungeon to us in a boot two minutes like. And we're all gonna get toasted. No different fret pets, just calm down. If it gets our warm, just under your jacket. Billy Elwood, Tyneside News. T minus 1 minute. Stand by everybody, stand by. STAND BY! We're moving aside. T-minus 30 seconds. Look, it's working. We're moving. I think we're going to make it. Look, we're moving. But I tell you, it's bloody impossible. I've done all the calculations. All your calculations? and rockets and bombs and this farmer this simple pig farmer god bless him comes up with an idea that any fool even i could have thought of all we had to do was to get half the world in one place to jump up and down together at the same time Yes.